Did you know that in the entire history of JE Advance, there has never been a female AI robot? Crazy, right? But today we are talking to someone who came really close. Vijay Patel, AI R7, JE Advance 2024. It's not like only uh, boys can come at, girls can come at too, and like it depends on you. If you like it, just keep on going, and you get a good result, and. Yeah, I guess. And here's the craziest part. She never planned to prepare for JE. While most single digit rankers start preparing for JE from class 6th or 7th, Vija didn't even think about JE until class 11th. And yet, she made it to AIS 7. I started the IIT preparation in uh, like after 10th boards only. Like I did not do any prior preparation before 10th. Most people think that toppers are always serious, super disciplined and never change. But Vija, she's completely opposite. Fun, relaxed and nothing like the topper stereotype. If you were a meme, which one would you be? I I don't scroll on Instagram. I don't know would be that meme. <laughs> one superpower you wish you had. I wish I could. Nandan Nilekani, he is an alumnus of IIT Bombay. He donated 315 crores to our college. If that amount was given to you, what would you have done? Welcome, Vijay. So you. I want you to introduce yourself. Like we all know about you, but. Still, can you give a basic introduction of yours? I am Dwaja Patel and I am from Rajkot, Gujarat and uh, I got uh, the 7th rank in JWE Advance of 2024. The 7th rank and she is a very exceptional student because being a female candidate, she has grabbed a position in top 10 years and which is, which is a huge thing because I have been analyzing the toppers from last 3 and 4 years. And I'm very happy to see you first of all here. Yeah. Like I always wanted to have a female student in the this topper stock series and today we are having it. Congratulations on your Thank rank. You. So the my first question is when did you started the IIT preparation? I started the IIT preparation in uh, like after 10th boards only. Like I did not do any prior preparation before 10th. I hadn't even given any Olympiads or anything. So you're saying truth, right? Because yes. people have this thinking about toppers that they prepare from 8th, 9th itself. And seeing the uh, previous year toppers, it was like a very common criteria between them. Mm -hmm. So you're telling the truth, right? Because yes. audience will then just comment, no, 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 I started in 11th itself. I did not do anything. Okay. So where did you have your schooling? So I was in uh, Allen coaching, Allen Rajkot itself. Okay, Allen Rajkot itself, yeah. so, okay. And what was your daily schedule while you were preparing for JE? My daily schedule was like we had classes in the morning, so I'd wake up on time. I I can't wake up early and read. That is not my thing. Okay. Then I'd come home and then rest for a while or something, and then I'd just start doing my homework and revise whatever was whatever was taught in the classes. And I'd sleep late because I can stay awake till late and wake up early, but I cannot uh, wake up early and read in the morning. Okay. So before diving into our JE journey, uh, I just wanted to add one thing because we were talking before we start recording the video and she told me that she never planned to give the JE, right? Yeah. So tell the tell about this story to the audience. Like, what was your plan and what you actually did? Well, I'm like before tenth, I wanted to go abroad after eleven, twelve. So I I was going to stay in the same school as the like in my school in which I was till tenth grade. But like then, like suddenly it was just the heat of the moment, not heat of the moment thing. But like we just planned it. Uh, like then and there at the ending, like after my last board, we had it in May. After that only I took uh, admission in Allen and then like everything went too fast. So, she started the JEE prep and she got the rank 7 in the JEE prep. Wow, nice. Among PCM, what was your most favorite subject? My favorite subject was Maths. Your favorite subject yeah. was Maths, okay. And what books did you use for your, your JEE preparation? Before moving ahead in the video, I want to tell you something important. If you want to do a normal B.Tech, but you want to do something impactful, then check out Mirai School of Technology. This is an AI-first B.Tech in AI and ML, which you don't just theory, but from the first day, it gives hands-on learning. Partnered with AI City approved colleges, like Rathinam Institute in Bangalore and High Tech Institute in Delhi NCR. And its founders are also very solid. Arpit Sarda from IIM and BITS, and Varun and Karthik Bhaiya from Coding Blog, who have taught more than 50,000 students to coding. And many of them are right now in Google, Amazon, Microsoft. Curriculum is updated every year and it is designed for real-world AI learning. 
फर्स्ट ईयर में यू वुड बी लर्निंग प्रोग्रामिंग वेब डेवलपिंग एंड कोर मैथ सेकेंड ईयर में रियल ए आई प्रोजेक्ट थर्ड ईयर में एडवांस ए आई एल एल एम एंड ब्लॉक चेन एंड इन फोर्थ ईयर यू कैन डिप्लॉय यूर ओन प्रोडक्ट यू विल ऑल्सो गेट एक्सेस टू फिफ्टीन प्लस ए आई टूल जैसे की ओपन ए आई हगिंग फेस मांग मेंटर्स एडवांस लैब्स एंड ग्लोबल कॉम्पिटिशन सिक्स मंथ पेड इंटर्नशिप अपॉर्चुनिटी इन थर्ड ईयर एंड हंड्रेड परसेंट प्लेसमेंट असिस्टेंस एंड हर स्टूडेंट को मैकबुक भी मिलता है स्कॉलरशिप अप टू हंड्रेड परसेंट मेरिट बेस्ड गर्ल्स डिफेंस एंड नीड बेस्ट सर्टिफिकेशन भी इंडस्ट्री लेवल के मिलते हैं फ्रॉम टॉप टेक जैंट्स मिराई सीट्स आर फिलिंग फर्स्ट एंड द लास्ट डे टू अपलाई इज ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ में The entrance test is on 24th of May. Don't wait before it is too late. The link is in the description now. Let's continue our video. What books did you use for your your JEE preparation? For maths, we used to do the black book like Vikas Gupta sir's book. That, that's like standard. I think everybody does that. And for calculus, we used to do Samir Bansal. Achha. And I don't think anything we did anything else for math because that was sufficient. And our sir used to give us extra practice, like extra questions and everything. Okay. Yeah. Huh. In organic chemistry, we used to do V K Chaswal. Then for organic, we used to do M S Chauhan or uh, Himan Shupande. And for uh, physical chemistry, we used to need a uh, Kumar Ka, Buddha, Nitin yeah, yeah. Kumar sir's book. And for physics, we used to do H C Verma. Like H. that is standard. You should do that yeah, because yeah. it helps. Clearing many concepts and uh, Irodo, don't do it if you can't do it because then it will like uh, dip, like send you in a mode of kind of depression and it will discourage you, like demotivate you. But if it's happening, then you should uh, do uh, selected questions because some of the questions are relevant, but not the whole book. Okay, so adding to her last point, I also think that if you do H C Verma very honestly, na, then you don't need any other book to do. But if you are like still more hungry to solve physics question, then you can try Irodo. But I don't think it is very necessary for uh, J Advanced. Like considering the question type of questions which J Advanced has, the book is relevant, but it is very less. Yeah, yeah. Like we also used to do only selected questions. We have not done the whole thing. And like uh, th this year's paper was fairly easy. Like it was way easier than the okay. other papers which we have done. And for that, I don't think Irado would be needed at all. Huh. So first step is just complete SCV. Yeah. And if you have completed it once, do it twice. Do it thrice because like if your goal is not to be in the top ten, then you should do J. Uh, sorry, SCV Verma thrice, and then you can try then Irado. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah, yeah. right. So. My next question is: While you were preparing for J, did you have any smartphone? Like, ah uh, no, I did no, I did not have my own smartphone. I used to use my mother's phone. Okay, so I don't know if this question is relevant to you or not because the question was how to avoid distractions. And in today's generation, smartphone is the biggest distraction as per me. So. You didn't have the smartphone, but did you have any other distractions? Well, I'm I'm a person who can get distracted by anything and everything. Like if I'm alone in my room, I don't think I can study continuously for more than one and a half hour or something. Okay. I need to get up and go down and talk to my mother or whoever uh -huh. whoever is there downstairs. Where sir? So like it's fine as long as you. Concentrate when you are studying. Like, where, how much ever you study, you need to study with full concentration. Okay. Um, like, if you take breaks in between, you need you need breaks in between. But don't let those breaks become like half an hour or one hour breaks. Got Fifteen it. minutes is fine. So, what advice would you give to the future aspirants who are aiming for the top rank? Like the only advice I would give is like uh, keep on doing whatever you're doing. Like keep on practicing, keep on studying. Don't give up. And like you'll face hard times. You'll feel demotivated. But just uh, ask for help from your family and friends, and keep on doing. And like your hard work will pay off, and you'll get a good rank if uh, you work properly and consistently. Just oh, no. keep, on going, keep on going. Revision is very important while yeah, preparing for exam like G. What was your best method to do revision? See, I personally feel like writing takes a lot of time for me, and I read stuff and I can remember it. So I used to just keep on reading stuff, and like most of my notes, I've read those two or three times. So now I remember that on this page, this thing is written, and this highlighter was used for that. So like it just comes to your mind whenever you're solving questions. I used to read on yeah but it's your case because you had strong memory what about the students who don't have the photographic memory uh, like uh, writing helps i've seen many people who make short notes and uh, that helps a lot because then uh, the notes are usually very long and short notes help you summarize everything and they help you uh, like revise stuff that you know you're going to forget so, and what to do when you feel like not studying 
अच्छा वेन यू फील लाइक नॉट करिंग टॉक टू योर फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स आई यूज टू डू दैट वॉच सम मूवी और समथिंग लिसन टू सॉन्ग्स डू वट एवर यू लाइक बट ओनली फॉर अ सम टाइम लाइक डोंट देन कीप ऑन डूइंग दैट थिंग एंड जस्ट फॉरगेट अबाउट स्टडिंग यूज इट एज अ रिफ्रेशमेंट एंड आफ्टर यू रिफ्रेश देन गेट बैक टू स्टडिंग वेन यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग तुम्हें पता लाइक आफ्टर द एग्जाम डिड यू नो दैट योर रैंक इज गोइंग टू बी अ सिंगल डिजिट No, I did not. I didn't know. No, 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 I knew I'd done fairly good, but uh. like it was an easy paper, and everybody had done good. Uh. And I know people who deserved a better rank, but they've not gotten it, like because they might have done it is, silly mistakes mm, or everything. Like it, it's just, it's luck in the end. Like even if you practice the lot or anything, luck works. Luck works, and वो जिस दिन जी एडवांस होता है ना उस दिन की भी एक अलग ही कहानी होती है. Like तुम दो साल बहुत prepare करो, but अगर वो दिन खराब गया ना तो कुछ कर नहीं सकते तुम. तो वो दिन की भी बहुत बड़ी बात होती है. But still, you may have some speculations ki top hundred me aayega. Top, ha, top hundred, top fifty. I had an idea. Maybe top hundred, like top hundred was final. Like uh-huh. after talking to teachers and everything. But I guess top fifty was also like maybe top fifty. But so, I did I, not a single digit. Okay, so single digit must have been a big surprise for yeah. you, your family, yeah. and teachers. So when you saw that AIR seven on your result portal, what was your reaction in your your parents? <laughs> Everybody was happy. I don't know. Like before that, that like a list comes, no, of uh, uh-huh. like all the institutes have just uh-huh. given everybody ka uh, marks and everything. Uh-huh. So in that, I was, I think I was eleventh or twelfth. I don't remember. Okay. So like, okay, I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, it's good. Then, finding out that it is a single Seven, digit. Ha, uh-huh, that was a big thing. I mean, Are you a fan of Dhoni? Ala <laughs> for it. Well, I I do like him. Like you could not call me a fan, but okay. I like him. Yeah. Okay, got it. What's the one thing you wish, uh, which you should have known before you started for your J preparation? Uh, it is okay to get less marks sometimes. It is okay to not know things. You won't know everything. You won't be able to remember everything before the exam, and like that's okay because. Some things you'll forget. Some things you won't understand. You know, get demotivated, demotivated because of that. Don't think, oh, I don't know this, then I don't know anything. I won't get marks in in the exam. Like you'll have that mindset, and then you'll perform badly in the exams. That did not happen in advance, but in other uh, tests which I take during the preparation, it happens then. Like if you think, okay, oh, I don't know this topic, then you'll actually won't be able to solve questions regarding that. It's okay to not know things, but if you don't know things, ask other people for help. Don't shy away. Okay. And one special question for you because many female candidates now look at you as an inspirational person. In fact, I recently got a comment where they specifically asked me to please interview uh, Dvija Di because she is very inspiration for all the female candidates. So, do you have anything to say to the female candidates specifically? Well, if not, there is anything, <laughs> it's not like only uh, boys can come ahead, girls can come ahead too, and like it depends on you. If you like it, just keep on going, and you get a good result. And yeah, I guess. So you want someone to break your record? Yeah, it's not a record. I think other people, have, like other girls, have scored. But in uh, recent time, rank. I don't think so. Like yeah, not seven. in recent time. I I don't know. I huh. actually don't see any statistics or anything. But yeah, I, I would be happy to see somewhere as they right? AI so, had won. Good, good, great. Now we have the fun segment where we, where I will ask you some funny questions, which you will definitely like because you must be tired with this J thing after all the interviews and all. So I want to to give you a new experience. So the first question is: Introduce yourself in a lo- your mother tongue. Oh, Maru naam Dhuja chhe, and I am Rajkot Gujarat thi chhu. I don't know what else should I say? Like introduce yourself. Yeah, okay. it is enough. Your expectations versus reality. Of IIT from the last three weeks. No, I actually expected the rooms to be worse and the mess food to be worse than what it is, and it's nice. I it actually nice. like it. Yeah. Okay. And the, but the buildings are pretty old. I did not expect that. But hostels. Uh, not the hostel. I'm seeing in okay, the. Uh, oh, the hostels. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Uh, have you been to H six hostel six? No, <laughs> no. Yeah. You will get a vibe of ancient <laughs> India. Apart from mackets, what other fields do you rock in? I don't. I don't think I do rock in any fields, but like uh, I, 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 I used to write stuff. I don't know if I can write now. Okay. And I used to play chess. Used to write in. I mean, uh, 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 yeah, mm. poetry and stuff like oh. that. Yeah, I used to. Okay. Not, um, Have you had any all-nighter experience? 
Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, is it your first experience? Yeah. In the college. Yeah. So, what you did? Well, uh, nothing. We actually went to Pavai Lake. Pavai Lake. Yeah, to watch the sunrise. Sunrise. Okay. Yeah. Nice. But we could not see it because, like, I don't know. Maybe cloudy, it was. Like yeah, cloudy yeah, it was cloudy. So just the only the sky changed the color and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You will get pretty more opportunities. Uh, and first impression of your roommate. Oh, my my roommate is actually from Gujarat only. Okay, then you guys <laughs> don't have any problem. Yeah, so like she's pretty good cool. Job, good job. Yeah, and she's she's I think she's quiet, but like we talk, she's she's a very nice. You person. will make her talk at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you know Nandan Dilekani? He is an alumnus of IIT Bombay. He donated three hundred and fifteen crores oh. to our college. If that amount was given to you, what would you have done? Like I'd have do- obviously I'd have donated some of it to the college, uh-huh. and like I'd have probably started like uh, ashrams like on the ashram or with the ashram. So like, you won't be spending the money on money on yourself? No, no, I'm I'm not really interest interested in spending it on myself. Okay, huh. so if you were supposed to travel in time, yeah. where would you go? Past, future? I go to the future. So yeah, in the future. Okay. Yeah. And what will you do? I think I just see how the world looks after I'll be dead. Achha. And if you could be CEO of any company for a day, which company would you choose? I'd say Google. Google. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you might actually become <laughs> someday. <laughs> I don't. Uh, if you were a meme, which one would you be? I I don't scroll on Instagram. I don't know would be that meme. <laughs> yes, I don't know. I I, I see this. I I my the experience. number of times she has answered. I don't know. I don't know. Would be around ten, twenty, or something. So we will make one meme out of it only. Yes. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> well, my Instagram is mostly filled with uh, huh. uh, travel stuff and food. Nothing okay. else. Okay. One I mean, superpower you wish you had. I wish I could read people's minds. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but if you would read night, it will be more problematic to you only. No, but I still like that. It's fine. I like that. that. I know okay. the problem. But like everything has consequences. Yeah. But it's fun. Do you have any phobia? I hate insects, animals. I hate in the sense I'm scared of them. I can like. Got it. So thank you, Dvija. Here we can end our video. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing your story. Story. in a very fun way so thanks, thanks, so, thanks thank a lot for, for having that. me yeah we can finish ha huh. it was fun yaar